British meal times can be confusing for foreign visitors, so we'll clear up the confusion now and at the end we'll give a guaranteed tip to avoid embarrassment. The main source of confusion with meal times is actually just in the naming of it. So some people will say breakfast, dinner and tea, and other people will say breakfast, lunch and dinner. And this is where the confusion lies. The good news is there are some things that are the same, so we'll cover those quickly just to get those out of the way. So breakfast is the first meal of the day, literally to break your fast. So that's the same everywhere. You might also hear of elevenses, and that is like a cup of coffee, a mid-morning break around 11. You will also maybe hear afternoon tea, which is sort of three to four o'clock. Uh, the traditional tea with cake or buns or maybe little sandwiches. And the other thing you might hear is supper, which uh, most people don't tend to have anymore, but it's like a, a light snack before going to bed. The other meal you might hear is referred to as brunch, and that's usually a quite a substantial late breakfast, uh, on a, usually on a weekend, sometime between breakfast and lunch, hence the name brunch. So that's the things that are the same. Now we've got the things that are different. So as we said before, there's breakfast, dinner and tea, or breakfast, lunch and dinner. So as we see, the same word dinner can be used as the midday meal or the evening meal. And believe it or not, it's actually a class thing. So in England, we still do have a class system. We have a lower class, a middle class, an upper class, but people don't talk about it. This is where the difficulty comes. It's not something that you speak about. It's something that people instinctively know and that, that's all that's necessary. There's no need to talk about it. Of course, as a foreign visitor, you do need someone to talk about it because it's not clear to you. So I'll break all the rules. I'll probably get like the decorum police come by because I'm, I'm talking about class and that's not what you do. So here we go. The people who say breakfast, dinner and tea are generally speaking of lower class types <clears throat> and the people who say breakfast lunch and dinner are generally speaking upper class types so if you can judge quite easily whether someone's upper class or lower class which is not always clear you might have an idea but there is actually a little tip that, you, that will guarantee avoiding any embarrassment. So what do I mean by embarrassment? Say for instance, somebody said to you, oh, uh, we'd like to invite you to dinner tomorrow. And you turn up at 12 o'clock and you say, oh, I'm, and they say, what are you doing here? We didn't expect you till seven. And you say, oh, uh, sorry, I thought you were lower class. You appear to be quite sort of um, prolish. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. And to a lesser extent, tea as well. If someone invites you around for tea and you turn up at three o'clock and they say, hmm, well, expect a new till six. And they say, oh, I'm sorry, you've, I thought you were quite oity-toity. I thought you meant afternoon tea. So how do we avoid this? It's very simple. The tip that I would like to give you is when you accept the invitation, you say, oh, I'd love to come. What time should I be there? And then you haven't uh, uh, discussed anything about class. You haven't asked anything embarrassing. So if somebody says to you, oh, you know, we'd like to invite you around to dinner tomorrow. Your answer is, assuming you want to go, of course, is, oh, I'd love to. Thanks a lot. Uh, what time should I be there? And if they say, oh, come around at six. We can have a drink beforehand. Then you know what time to arrive. Avoided all the embarrassment and you probably have a nice evening. Were you aware of these differences between breakfast, dinner and tea, breakfast, lunch and dinner? Um, if not, and this has helped you, please let us know in the comments below. So that rounds off this video for this week. Thanks for watching. If you found it informative, please let me know by clicking the thumbs up. If not, <coughs> thumbs down. 
and please subscribe for future updates. See you next time. Bye for now.